Hi and welcome to Inside Venues from the Manc. I'm DJ Paula and today we're going to explore the Albert Hall in Manchester. This is the Albert Hall. It was designed in 1910 and was commissioned by the Methodist Church. The design was different to other churches because it was created with the intention to attract non-churchgoers. So my favourite memories inside this amazing, awesome, historic venue. Where do I start? Um, as a punter, I have enjoyed Kamazi Washington. What a fantastic gig. I think I was sitting over there with my family Alicia, Martin, Audrey, we were all here enjoying Kamazi, who was down on the stage there. Just absolutely one of the best gigs ever. And from that stage, I have had the honour of performing on that stage. Amazing. So I am just beside myself. Thank you so much to La Discoteca. Um, to Kat Warburton and Sophie B for like trusting me for playing on that stage many, many occasions. They are two absolute blazing women in Manchester who put on some of the best parties and I have been on that stage because of it. So this is the main stage where artists like Nils Fram, Kamazi Washington, DJs like me, Derek Carter, Marshall Jefferson, you name it, and politicians have all performed or spoken or played or just made themselves available to entertain and inform people. And yes, that is the original organ and it's over a hundred years old. I do love a big organ. I have been waiting and I am like literally queuing outside the door for Little Sims. She's coming in December. I did have a little look at what's coming up and I saw one of my absolute heroes is coming. I'm pretty sure Gary Newman's coming here. So I'm going to be here in my car. I feel safest of all. I can lock up my door. So I might come, you know, just for a bit of a blast of the old school because I am a fan. And Heaven 17 as well, they're coming. And Echo and the Bunny. It's a bit of a 90s vibe, 80s, 90s vibe. And, um, of the new stuff, Celeste is coming as well. I'm looking forward to that. And who else? I mean, there's loads of stuff. Just look on the listings, really. But there's club nights and, as well, you know. I won't just go into the DJ thing because that's a bit, you know, obsessive. But I'm pretty sure I might be here in a bit. This is the main hall. It wasn't just home to religious ceremonies. It was also home to an event called the People's Concerts. This invited the public out to embrace the Manchester music scene, which is pretty cool, isn't it? However, this main hall was left abandoned for over 60 years. The downstairs still functioned as a car showroom, and you might remember it as the Brannigans. It's been amazing. I think people really want to go out. People want to connect with, with other people. So, you know, even though we've still got to respect COVID regs, even though we do have to do our lateral flow tests and show our negative results and, and, and be very respectful of each other, and there are sanitising stations dotted about and we are encouraged to keep a bit distant from each other. And, but people just really want to connect and that connection has been absolutely beautiful. And, um, you know, long may it rain. What's it like playing on that stage? <laughs> <laughs> I do it every time, but I just get really giddy whenever I come in here. People don't know this. Not, it's haunted. There's a ghost somewhere in the belfry upstairs if you go like upstairs into the tower bit quick before we finish let me show you one of my other favorite bits it's in here Ta -da! this is the green room where many a dj many an artist 
and the occasional politician still has to hang out and make the most of their delicious and lovely rider, which is normally in Elfridge here. And this is where I am a princess. Um, the rest of 21 is looking really positive. There's loads coming up. But the two biggest ones I would like everybody to come to and stand at the front and jump up and down like Kermit the Frog is Hacienda Whereas Project, November the 13th, and Defected Whereas Project, December the 11th. I'll be there with loads of other DJs, bigger than me. <laughs> much, much bigger than me. But, you know, old time a problem, can't remember the lineups for both. Look on the listings, get your tickets, get down the front, I will meet you front left. So it's been up and running since 2013 as the venue we all know and love. So why don't you tell me, down in the comments, what has been your favourite gig in the Albert Hall? So I've been DJ Paulette, this has been Inside Venues for the Mank. I still have people. <laughs>